Okay, I'm going to show you now how to upload a batch of files. Uh, usually, you don't want to upload your files in, in bunches of three or four unless you only have a few files. If you have a lot of files, you probably want to upload them all at once because uh, that will save you time. Although, of course, when you upload them all at once, you don't get to um, create the metadata for each file one at a time. But that's fine. You can go into the files afterwards and add the metadata. So let's go back into our demo for video course that we created. And let's choose the file manager tool. And remember that we created chapter one, a folder called chapter one. And in that folder, we have a folder called images. Now I'm going to create a folder called images two, because if I, I'm going to use the same uh, images for the demo. And if I upload them to the same um, folder, you won't actually see what happened. So let's go to, let's create images two. Okay, so we have a folder called images two, and you can see we have nothing in here. Now let me bring in my file system, uh, file system's own file manager. In Linux, this is called Nautilus. On Windows, it's called what? Windows Explorer or something like that. <clears throat> I don't know what it's called on Mac, Choicer or Chooser or something. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I'm, and, this, and the way in which you compress these files into a zip file varies from operating system to operating system and even even you can use different programs on the same operating system. So I'm assuming that you have on your computer a means to create a zip file. If you don't, then you need some sort of uh, zip application that can, um, that can create zip files. That's beyond the scope of this video. You can Google for how to create zip files on your platform. Um, on Linux, this is easy. You simply select all the files that you want uh, to include choose compress and then you can choose the kind of compression you want uh, I will use zip because it's what's most compatible oops let me do that again compress um, I'm gonna use zip because it's the one that's most compatible um, and that's it it'll you can give it a name um, I'm just gonna call it images 2 I'm just going to call it IMG2. Okay, create. Now you can see we have a fifth file in our directory called IMG2.zip. Okay, let me just move this out of the way. Ah, it's still there. Okay, so now we're going to choose a file. And our file is on the desktop, working, chapter 1. And there's the file img2.zip. So we select that file. Um, give it whatever license or copyright or whatever you want to give it. I prefer attribution license. And then upload file. Now, that doesn't help. You can see that we've got an img2 file on the server, but it's still zipped. Ah, So you click that file. And now you can see the, fo the files that it contains. And you can say, you can extract it, extract all the files from it. So you can see extract to, and then you can choose the directory. I just accidentally clicked extract files, so I'm extracting them into this directory. Now you can see the two files, the four files are there. And you can either keep or you can choose to delete the zip file because you don't need it anymore. It's up to you whether you want to keep it or not. And now you can see in the directory images too, you have the same files that you had before. And it's as easy as that to do multiple file uploads. No big deal. Huh? You just have to zip them. That's it for now. Thank you. Bye.